dynamic, 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 dynamic. We hustle sun up until sundown just to keep businesses in our part of town. That's black go, 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 black go, go, black go, go, black go, go. It's community wealth where we support ourselves. Recycle the money before you spend somewhere else. That's black go, go, black go, go. It's kind of a stock room. It's my uh. It's my sewing area. Okay. Okay. And this is this is fabric. This this is my happy place. Stock room. So do you work and then come home and Yep. Try to create. Okay. Say that again. I was saying, do you work and then come home and try to create? Yep. Generally, um, like there, there has always, I have an Excel sheet where I, um, where I keep up with paid orders because regular, I don't even consider it an order if we just had a conversation and, uh, funds haven't been transferred, but paid orders, uh, I keep an Excel sheet. And when I leave work, I go by who's next in line, um, with, with their payment. When, when I receive a payment for whatever, I you automatically go on the spreadsheet. Um, and the only way someone will be able to bump in front of someone else is, is if I don't have the person before them, if I don't have what I need on hand, if I have to wait for it to come in the mail, then the next person under them will get bumped up. But for the most part, that's what I do Monday through Friday. Um, I work part-time. I've been working part-time for a while because, um, I like being here with the kids. I can't send them off in the morning, but I can be here when they get out. So, um, I, I work, I'm usually home between 1230 and one and I create until about 425 because my little guy has to be picked up by 430 and then that kind of ends it right there unless uh unless I have something that's pressing then um my husband will take over and then I'll come back down and finish up and on the weekends I try not to um be down here that much because you know you need that family time so so would you consider yourself a super mom? <clears throat> definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely do. I wear it proudly though. You should. You should. I think you're one of the exceptional people that I know. Thank you. You are. Um, I'll say that proudly. Lately I've been giving out compliments and I only give out compliments when I mean the shit. So it ain't, it ain't <laughs> I ain't giving you no job. You know, appreciate it. You know, um, I, I I mean the shit. I don't I don't waste my time doing that. You know, uh, recently a friend of mine, he's an artist. He had a TED talk uh, for his art pieces that he did. I post I think I posted on my IG and on my um, the the stories Facebook stories, the art pieces that he created. Uh, the TED talk they really didn't go into what he actually did in his opinion. They gave a very small summary. It was like five minutes. I was like, oh, y'all didn't let him get into the shit. Y'all didn't let him talk his shit, but, you know, y'all y'all understood what he did with that art. Like, y'all know what them white monkeys was and everything. Like, y'all curious about right. that. So, um, me and him had a conversation about it, and we need to have another one so he can go in-depth about what it is he was doing and his his thinking and his process to, of, of, of the three panel pieces that he created. So, um, I definitely gave him a comment about it. Um, and I, I meant it because when you look at it, there's so many things that you see when you're looking at the art piece as a total, as a put together. And, and then, you know, for me, it was just like, there are people in the piece, this is what I got out of it. In the piece, you see, he uses monkeys instead of human beings. So there are white monkeys and there are black monkeys, right? And it, it, there's a lot of symbolism in the piece, but in the end, if you're paying attention to what I saw, it was that the the most important part of the piece was being degraded and defamed. He wasn't being given a name. He was he was being given a name. 
he wasn't being allowed to show who he was. You understand? Got it. So um, that's something we've had to deal with since persecution, kidnapping, abduction, pillage, rape, and all that over the last five, 600 years. So that's what I got from the piece. But I told him when I first saw it and he put up, he said, man, G, what you think of this? And when I saw it, I was like, yo, and right away, he started laughing. He was like, you see it? I was like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I know I know the different things that I'm seeing. And and he was taught, we talked about it personally. So I gave him a big salute on that. Um, he's done well though. I'm very proud of him and everybody else from uh, Shelby County, Shenanigans, SES crew, Creative Kim Folk and all of them. Shout out to Memphis, Tennessee. Appreciate y'all. Orange Mound, you dig. Cause he made threw me off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>